guys, welcome back to Simply Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a general reading for the 1111 portal that's coming up in a few days. Um, as always, these readings are very general, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means that the message wasn't meant for you. Um, as well as the characters in the story can always be reversed vice versa to be anybody that you may be dealing with in your life. Alright, so we're going to be using the Oracle of Unicorns today, the Romance Angels, and then two Rider Waite decks. Alrighty. Sorry, I normally do this before. Ooh, my favorite card. All right. Oh. Okay, first we're going to be checking in with the Oracle of Unicorns. All right, what's going on for the general collective for the 1111 portal? What energies might be coming in for 1111? What energies might be coming in for 1111 for the collective? All right. All right. What do we got? Past lives. Release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. Interesting. So you could be dealing with someone from the past, someone you have... Past life, past life karma with healer you have powerful healing gifts have faith in your ability stay true to your path as a healer so this is definitely kind of about somebody that it seems like somebody bettering themselves somebody that is a healer possibly also reads tarot or anything of the sort and you're either dealing with someone from the past or you're letting go of past karma that you're holding on to. Whether that be in this lifetime or a previous lifetime. Alrighty. What's going on with the general collective for 1111 portal? What energy is coming in for 1111? We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this could be somebody that you're starting to get to know. Um, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So maybe you met somebody and uh, you want to express love to them. Or maybe it's someone from the past. That. All right. Before we get into that, though, let's look into the tarot. We see these. Yes, okay. Alrighty, what's going on with the general collective for 1111? Oh, okay. General collective for 1111. Filled here. Oh, waiting. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Too many. One more, please. Or what's going on with the eleven eleven? Energy's coming in for 1111. All right, so we have peace and balance here. For this waiting card, so in a wish fulfilled. So you're waiting for this wish that was fulfilled. I feel like it's romantic because we have this express your love. Maybe you're waiting for someone to come back from the past 
and get to know each other because we have here we have holding on to something you're holding on to something not possibly somebody possibly could have been holding on to some past karma maybe from you and another person and maybe that's being resolved all right let's gonna shuffle the clarifiers <clears throat> Alrighty, what is this two of wands here for? What is this waiting? Alright, so we have death card, which is death and kind of rebirth, so cycles. Um, and the two of cups, which would indicate kind of love. So you've been waiting on this love. Maybe it ended in the past. Or maybe you were just waiting for this person, a cycle to change with this person. Maybe something in the past happened right here with this past life karma we have healer here too you could be just healing from that maybe it has nothing to do with um having any sort of healing gifts or anything obviously this is general so you know take it how it fits your situation but um it looks like you're waiting on waiting on something some sort of cycle to change some sort of love here what is this nine of cups here is that ten of cups <laughs> Yeah, uh, happiness, abundance, family. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's like you were waiting for this. It looks like you were waiting for a person. Or anything. It doesn't have to be a person. Because um, we have this waiting. Wish fulfilled. And like you thought of them as your ten of cups. Why is the four pentacles here? What are we holding on? Three. <laughs> More waiting. Could be third party here with three. Maybe you're waiting for someone to end a third party. Oh, okay. Wish fulfilled here. Twice. You were holding on to a person. For sure. Like, you knew this person was your wish fulfillment. But there was a lot. there's a lot of waiting involved here. Maybe they had to end another scenario first. So we have the three here. And then we have death. Maybe you're waiting for them to end something else. Hmm. Why is temperance here? Fighting? Maybe there was fighting in the past and now um, now it's kind of balancing out here. I need to take my scarf off. I'm melting. Um, okay. Interesting. I want to look further though. Because it's very general. Um, All right, we're gonna look a little bit into the other person. Who's this other person that's coming in here? Who is this other person? What are they feeling about this situation? What's going on with them? I mean, obviously, eleven eleven is the twin flame number, so it's kind of it's kind of uh, coming up like that type of vibe here, but it doesn't have to be that. But we all know 1111 is the twin flame number. So, who is this other person that's coming in here for 1111? I almost just said for Scorpio, but it is Scorpio season. Maybe there's a Scorpio here. Maybe your other person's a Scorpio. Or you're a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. What's going on with this? Oh. Oh. What's going on with this other person here? Queen of Swords. Too many. What's going on with this other person? Alright. So. We have Leap of Faith. So this person wants to take a Leap of Faith, is going to take a Leap of Faith, it's Thinking about taking a leap of faith. Um, we have the Queen of Swords. So they could have cut you out. Want to cut somebody else out. Already did cut somebody else out. Ten of Wands. They're carrying a lot of burdens here. There's some sort of truth and clarity here with this Ace of Swords. Um, why is this fool here? What is this leap? Chariot. Moving forward. They want to take a leap, leap of faith to move forward. Move forward to what? 
victory. This other person definitely is taking some sort of leap of faith forward. Some sort of victory. Maybe something they've been wanting to do. Something which is this wish fulfillment for you. It's like you wanted them to take this leap of faith towards you. And it looks like they are with the two wish fulfillment cards that were up earlier. One more. Holding on. Again. We have this twice now. Four of Pentacles. It's like you've both been holding on to each other, it feels like. And like... This person here like really wants to take a leap of faith. And you know this person's your wish fulfillment, but like you've been waiting and it's not hasn't been happening. So maybe that's where in this eleven eleven what this eleven eleven scenario brings out here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Nine of Swords. Cutting someone out, yeah. Um upset, crying, up at night, stressed. I think that I think I do think it's a twin flame situation here, but if that doesn't resonate with you, you know, take what fits and leave the rest. Um, regardless, someone is up at night stressed because they know they have to cut somebody out. They know they did cut somebody out. They know, you know, they, whatever, any sort of relation to that. Why is this 10 of swords here? Wow. I didn't even finish asking. Peace. A lot of burdens about peace. They know they haven't been balanced or peaceful to you, possibly. More of this Ten of Swords. Oop. Um, what's up with these burdens? What are these burdens that this person's carrying? The moon. Hidden. Possibly hidden feelings. Maybe this person didn't tell you about their feelings before, and now they want to take that leap of faith and tell you. Because we have the Two of Cups. It's like they want to give you give you their, their cup. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What's this truth and clarity about? What's this truth and clarity about? Ten of Pentacles. Open ultimate happiness, abundance. Also can be financial. It's like they know that you're kind of the person that they've been waiting for. And they know they can have this kind of Ten of Pentacles with you. And But I think they have to cut somebody else out first. And, and they're carrying a lot of burdens because they possibly treated you badly. Before with this balance here, I don't think there was balance before. And then we have the moon, which is kind of unknown, hidden feelings, possibly. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think something happened between you two. And I think you might have to, have to heal from that situation. Or maybe you already did heal. And I think that, and that's maybe what's going to bring them back around because you've healed and you're not holding any grudges anymore. It's like we have, it's like they want to express their love to you. They want to get to know you, or you could just be getting to know this person. Um, yeah, it's like, it seems like a, it is like a rebirth. It's like, it's like cutting out the past karma, um, cutting out like any sort of past with this person. Because we have the death card. And then kind of, it's almost, it's like a, it is, it's like a rebirth. It's like, hi, nice to meet you. Like, let's start over. You know what I mean? Like, and then it's getting to know each other, expressing love. It's like, how can we start from stage one and then erase this past life karma that we had? All right. We're going to look into the potential outcome. Just remember with outcomes, it's all based off of energy. Energy is fluid and changes. Um, so the way I like to think about an outcome is it's almost more of a warning. If you like the outcome, then that means you're kind of on the right path. Continue doing what you're doing. If you don't like the outcome, that's where this kind of opportunity to change it comes in. So if you don't like it, that means that something in your energy is not kind of aligning with the future that you want. So just kind of think about what energy would align with the future that you want, if that makes sense. All right. What's the potential outcome for this 11-11 scenario? What's the potential outcome for this 11-11 situation potential outcome potential outcome for this 11 11 scenario whoa sun okay oh i don't i don't like to take five but all right 
I hate this card. <laughs> Seven of Swords, deception. Somebody's being deceptive. Why? I'm gonna look into that. So we do have happiness here. We do have the sun here, which is happiness. And we have Seven of Swords with the smoother waters. So that's all good. Hermit, hermit mode. Someone's hiding. King of Pentacles is, you know, they are a king. Um, the King of Pentacles is a very slow moving uh, king, but they also are very kind of stable. So, I mean, with the Sun and the King of Pentacles, I mean, this this is smoother waters, but it's also kind of bringing your swords baggage with you. But I don't like this. We're going to look into this. Okay. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Oh, Hermit. Again. Two Hermit cards here. Are they coming out of Hermit mode? What is, what's, what's up with this? Working on something. Eight of Pentacles. It's like this person's in Hermit mode right now. Maybe they're not talking to you. They're definitely not talking, or, or very little. Very little. Communication, it's, they're definitely working on something. Though. They're working on coming forward as this King of Pentacles energy, but, you know, it is slow moving. Or that could be past energy. Maybe it has taken a long time because obviously we had the waiting cards that came out first. So definitely someone's in Hermit mode working on something right now. Why is the sun here? Okay, wow, wow. Very positive. Ace of Cups. Love offer, new beginnings in love, eight of wands, communication could be traveling. Communication about a love offer. I mean, happiness, sun. They're working on coming forward with this happiness, love offer, communication with you. I mean, this this is like, in my opinion, this is super positive. If you're waiting on somebody to come forward, this is what you want in your outcome. And then we have sun, which is happiness. So I think they're just kind of in hermit mode right now, working on how they're gonna do this. Why is the Six of Swords here? Chariot moving forward. Moving forward to smoother waters. Possibly moving out of Hermit mode too. What, why is this Hermit here again? Knight of Swords. They want to they want, they want. want come out of Hermit mode and kind of rush in like this Knight of Swords. Or they are going to come out of Hermit mode and rush in. But they're trying to like remain in King energy. And like a stable King energy. All right, let's get to the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? How was the Nine of Cups? In the okay, there's someone outside my door. It's freaking me out. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, like I just, I think I just said that. Did Maybe I said it in my head. But I, the Nine of Cups already came out when I just shuffled. But I was like, oh, no, I wasn't ready. I didn't think that was right. But it just came out again. Followed by the Ten of Cups, which is the way it came out, I think, in the first spread. Again, wish fulfillment. Deceptive about wish fulfillment. That's a little sketchy. Maybe. But the rest is positive. So, like, I'm thinking it's more the fact that, like, you're kind of waiting, like, wondering what's going on. But, like... And you think maybe there's no progress being made or they're not coming forward to you. But it looks like, I think that's what this deception is. I think it's like they're in hermit mode right now coming up with this plan here. And that's what the deception is. They're not telling you about like their kind of plans to come forward here. I think that's what it is. Get one more for the seven of swords. Sun. Yeah, we have the sun twice. So we've had the hermit twice, the nine of cups twice, the sun twice, the four of pentacles twice. I think we had the chariot twice. Yeah, um, they're, they're being deceptive about the happiness. I think, I think they're just not telling you what they're um, working on right now. Because these are all positive. They're just not telling you that this is what's happening right now. They're not telling you that they're preparing for your wish fulfillment. Interesting. Well, looks pretty positive. Um, if you've been waiting on something, it looks like it's coming towards you. Um, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up on this video. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. And also don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. 
and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post new videos. Uh, I think that's all. Oh, um, I just made an Instagram account. Simply Tarot 1111 if you would like to follow that. All right. Also, I have another Instagram account if you want to follow that too. It's Simply Sharon, whichever one. That one's more music based. The other one's going to be more spiritual tarot stuff. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.